Welcome to News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. Welcome to our program today and most of you know that the Wagner Noel Performing Arts Center is now three years old and in that uh, time it has created an amazing uh, footprint and foundation for uh, its future greatness. And today uh, we have the pleasure of having as our guest Stephanie Re Rivas who is the Senior Marketing Director for the, that facility and she's going to be visiting with us over the next few Sundays about all of the things that have happened in those three years, all of the upcoming programs, and some of the things that you need to be getting your tickets for right now. So Stephanie, thank you so much for coming and, and stopping by to tell us all about the wonderful things that are going on in that wonderful facility. Thank you, Johnny Lou, and thanks for having me on the program. Oh. It, you know. Three years go by very quickly. Um, you know, we hit our three years in November. Um, we started with that grand gala with Rod Stewart and then just hit the floor running with so many great shows. And looking back at the three years, um, it's been really fun to see the caliber of the shows, the um, consistency of the programming, and just the variety that we've uh -huh. been able to bring in to the area. And the and the neat thing is is the variety. I think that that has just surprised Absolutely. everybody. Well, I want us to talk first about the history and mission mm -hmm. because for people we have such a mobile society we right do. now with our with our uh, folks oil, moving in and out oil yes. boom and so for people that are not familiar with it talk about where it is why it's there okay. and the, a the, little history. Bit of the history uh -huh. um, absolutely uh, the Wagner Noel Performing Arts Center was really just a dream of community members and of course the University of Texas of the Permian Basin UTPB um, also had a vision for its music department and for a need for the performing arts and so some great funds were um, put forth by the state legislat legislature and um, a very large grassroots effort came forward and um, some local movers and shakers really put their feet on the ground and were able to raise the 81 million dollars mm -hmm. that it took to build the beautiful Wagner Noel which, Performing Arts Which Center. is one of the things that our area is really famous for. Absolutely. Is people it's coming, coming together. together and Absolutely. When they want something they we, get. We it. talk about that a lot how it really it is a community effort mm -hmm. and it continues to be a community effort. In that time um, since the building has been built we um, our mission really is to bring affordable quality entertainment to everyone in West Texas but we also house the music department department for UTPB. Uh -huh. So those music students are in and out of our facility uh -huh. every day. Uh -huh. um, they are able to have their uh, recitals in a wonderfully acoustically perfect recital hall. Um, and on those same nights during the week we will have major national touring productions uh -huh. right next door in the main hall. So um, it's been a wonderful three years and the road just continues to get stronger and broader. Uh -huh. um, you know we have this year um, we had acts like Santana and Bill Cosby and Harry Connick Jr. and Seinfeld, who's coming back because, again, he they, loved, they <laughs> love the facility. They love the fact that the community embraces uh -huh. these performers. And, and it, it amazes me at how time after time sold out performances. Absolutely. So as we talk about these upcoming productions over the next few days, people better take note and get tickets early because yes, and that's one of the reasons we put the ticket number on the <laughs> screen because yes. you need to call and get your tickets early but I, also I love your mission stated mm -hmm. in a, a very succinct statement about the affordability mm -hmm. and the family entertainment so yes, talk about that um, really we do strive to you know bring that variety of entertainment something a little bit of something for everyone um, you know we have everything from country to classic rock to um, you know symphony to ballet to opera um, the affordability factor though we really do try to keep a close eye on uh -huh. um, most national touring productions your tickets are going to range um, the average ticket price is going to be about $60. Uh -huh. um, you know, you're going to get higher than that if you want to be right up front or get a VIP meet and uh -huh. greet. Um, but most of our tickets up in our balconies always range between 
30 to $20. Uh -huh. um, we have some specific shows and specific series that we try to bring those down even a little bit more. Uh -huh. um, we, because again, we really want everyone to be able to participate and come to see a show. Uh -huh. And when you think about the price of a ticket, I know that $60 sometimes can still uh -huh. be a little steep, but when you take into account that you don't have to travel out of town, Drag. So you don't have money for gas, you don't have to stay in a hotel, you don't have to spend money somewhere out of town eating. All of that money stays right here. The one compliment we get over and over again is that I saw a wonderful performance and I get to go home and sleep in my own bed. Uh -huh. And so that is a true testament to the fact that we are able to keep our shows and our performances um, at, a, at a price point that people can come in and enjoy them. And it's a, a nationally acclaimed Programs. Absolutely. But the other thing you said that was really key is you have some some less expensive tickets mm -hmm. available and there is not a bad seat in the house. Not a so bad So if someone seat if you call and they say, Well, we only have the eighteen dollar or the twenty dollar tickets left or we only have um, five right. uh, tickets left it doesn't matter where it no. is because you are going to be able to hear. The acoustics are absolutely fabulous. The acoustics are just about as perfect as you can get in that building. But And I will mention that if you've not been in our facility before, um, the balconies in our, in our facility are stacked balconies. So we have two balconies, um, the second floor and the third floor. And no matter where you sit in those balconies, there's no obstructed views. Uh -huh, that's right. And the sound is clear and wonderful. Uh -huh. um, I always, when we do tours through the facility, and I do tours frequently for different groups, uh -huh. um, I always we, we, we always end up kind of on the stage. And I do that so that people can see that if you're on the stage and you look toward that top balcony, you can clearly see the last seat. Uh -huh. and all I, the way around. All the way around. <laughs> and I do that because if you're sitting in that last seat, your view to the stage is just that clear. Uh -huh. So it's always a good point to uh -huh. be able to make. And, and I've, I've been uh, in the facility mm -hmm. where someone stood in the balcony and you, you uh, spoke very softly on stage and they could and still, they can still hear, hear you. And so, yes, ma'am. Acoustics are yeah. so good. Uh -huh. yes. it's, it's, a amazing, it's an amazing facility and I'd love to, for you to say again that if anyone wants a tour, the tours? Uh, group, uh, groups that would like a tour, Absolutely. That you are able to arrange that. We're going to have to take a break, but we're going to be back in just a minute and continue this conversation because we've got so much more to talk to you about. See you in just a minute. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back.